My lover's got humor She's the giggle at a funeral Knows everybody's disapproval I should have worshipped her sooner If the heavens ever did speak She's the last true mouthpiece Every Sunday's getting more bleak A fresh poison each week We were born sick You heard them say it Command me to be well Amen 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 Take me to church I worship like a dog At the shrine of your life I can tell you my sins And you can sharpen your knife Offer me that deathless death Good God, let me give you your life It's Drew James here from Learn Guitar in London. Whew, that was a that was a high song for me to sing. That was high up there on the vocals. Uh, this guy's got a lot of talent. So I'm playing um, Hosier and Take Me to Church, which I just think is such a fantastic single. Really nice to hear a song on the radio that um, isn't necessarily a love song. You know, it's really nice to, to hear that. And this song is certainly giving us that a really powerful tune. So in this song, we're going to be putting some using a rhythm arrow system, which is going to help you with the rhythm, because even though it seems pretty simple at the beginning, it's just sort of single strums, easy open chords, um, the rhythm is a little offbeat. So I'm going to be showing you a little arrow system that's going to help you keep your time as you play through this track. Um, and also when we get into the chorus, there'll be another part with this. I'm going to be showing you how to do that with the power chords. Uh, so let's have a look at the left hand and see how to do it. So the chords you're going to need for the song, by the way, if you know these chords, then just um, skip to this part in the video to get started with the rhythm and the rhythm arrows, is E minor, A minor, G, a D, a C, a C minor. And you're also going to need some power chords. You're going to need an A power chord, a G, and an F sharp. They're all the chords you need. Once again, if you do know those, click here. So E minor, uh, I never label the strings Eddie 8, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie. So A string and D string, middle finger and ring finger. Strum all six strings. That's E minor. To change to A minor, which we do in the song a lot, move these fingers down to the middle strings and put your index finger on the first fret on the B string. Strum the bottom five. That then goes back to E minor, pretty easy change, right? Just lift these up, put them up there. And then we go to a G, so that's index finger on the first fret on the A string, um, sorry, second fret on the A string, middle finger on the third fret on the E string, and ring finger on the third fret on the thinnest string. That's your G, that goes back to A minor after that. Okay, and the other chords, a D, so index finger on the first fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret on the E string, ring finger on the third fret on the B string, and you should on the bottom four for that chord. The other chord is a C, so index finger on the first fret on the B string, middle finger on the second fret on the D, and third fi ring finger, sorry, on the third fret on the A string, you on the bottom four, uh, five for that. And then this chord does have a cheeky little bar chord in it. So it's a C minor, so we're going to be pressing down the bottom five strings with our index finger, thumb round the back, pinching the words diagonal pressure, keeping the elbow into the body, middle finger on the fourth fret on the B string, ring finger on the sixth fret on the D, and pinky tucked underneath on the sixth fret on the G. And for that one, you strum the bottom five. Okay, your power chords. So we've got a power chord is basically always using a similar style shape on these strings anyway. So index finger on the first fret on the fifth, sorry, the fifth fret on the thickest string, and the ring finger is on the seventh fret on the A string. Now that's a power chord shape, and that's called an A or an A5, you may see it written as. So to turn that into a G5, we're just gonna move it down 
two frets. Now when you slide down, try to keep this gap here. Uh, otherwise, because what will happen is your fingers will want to collapse, but try to keep them stretched. And then an F sharp five, which is another chord we need, you just move it down another fret. So you're on two and four here. Okay, one other chord you're going to need, and that's a B7. Index finger on the first fret on the D string, middle finger on the second fret on the A string, and ring finger on the second fret on the G string. And then if you want to, although it is optional, put your pinky on the thinnest string on the bottom on the second fret. That's your B7 strumming the bottom five. Okay, so I've just included a key here for my rhythm arrow system. Now, this particular song actually, um, there's actually a, what we call a three bar rhythm happening in it. Um, when, when we're strumming before it goes around in a circle. And that's what, if you're a beginner, it may sound easy, but to actually get it right, rhythm-wise, um, can take a bit of practice. So the rhythm arrow system works by big arrows mean strum, little arrows mean misses, okay? And for the verse, which we're going to do first, there's going to be, in total, in a bar, eight arrows. And what I've done is I've included big arrows on where we're actually strumming. Okay, so the beginning is E minor, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's your intro. We're going E minor, so down, miss, 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 down, miss, down, miss, miss. Okay, that's your beginning. I'm hoping you're following the system. All right, so E minor. All right, so let's keep moving on to the next part. So that was A minor, G, as you can see there. Okay, you can do it that way as I taught, or this way. It doesn't really matter. So let's go from the beginning again then. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and repeat. Okay, so it is a long, um, a long rhythm pattern there. Okay, um, so let's do bar one again so that you've got that. One and two and three and four and. Then bar two is miss, miss, two and three and four and. Okay, so I'm just missing now, you can see that. So bar two again is miss, miss, down, miss, down, miss, miss, miss. And then finally, bar three is down, miss, down, miss, 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 down, miss. Then you're repeating, okay? So bar three, once again, is down, miss, down, miss, 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 down, miss, down. Okay, so that's the beat. So I'll just take you through it now without sort of talking too much. And you've got the three rhythms there. So it's... A minor, G, A minor, E minor, round in a circle, A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, G, A minor, E minor, A minor, D, and that is um, a fresh point each week, okay, so um, every Sunday is getting more bleak, Fresh poison each week. Still the same rhythm. We were born sick. You heard them, so that's D and one and two, C and F. then E minor. Then we're rounding a circle. Okay, so it's the same chord progression at that point. Um, and then all we're doing is um, so. When I'm alone with you, I was born sick, but I love it. Command me to be well. So we're just going to hold that C for a full bar over the. Um, I was born sick. Command me to be well. Amen. So these we're just going to hold for two. So we're going to go down, miss, 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 down, miss, down, miss, 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 down, miss, down, miss, 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 down, miss, down, miss, miss, miss. And then we're on to the power chord part. So let's just show you what those chords were because I did go through that a little bit quickly. So it's G, C, G, C minor, G, C minor, G. And we're doing the G for two, 
Then we're going to go to 16. So we go 3E e and a 4E e and a 1 and Okay, so I hope that rhythm arrow system um, has seemed, has been useful for you in that, in that intro. Um, it probably sounds quite simple, but you will find that that will, that will really help you cement the rhythm. Now, when we get into the chorus, obviously it's much louder and we're hitting harder. And we're also doing something, we're now moving to something called 16th beats, which means that instead of going 1 and 2 and 3 and, our ands would be down strum. So we go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And then these ups are our 16ths. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So the rhythm for the Take Me to the Church, is pretty, it's really easy, okay? You've just got to remember that it is uh, 16ths. With a bit of swing on it, so it's down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So it's E minor, take me to church, then we change it to a B7, nice simple change, index, leave the middle finger there, index on the first fret on the G string, ring finger on the second fret on the G. Same rhythm, then that goes to a G, and we're doing that for a half bar, so we go G, A minor, E minor. Alright, so I'll go through that again. So it's E minor for a full bar. B7. G for one. And then A minor. E minor. And then once you've done that with the E minor, we're going to do that little, um, really dramatic. And I'll show you what to do there, okay? So we go um, E minor. And then we come up to the 5th fret, 5th and 7th fret on the E and the A string and we're going to go, try to slide it to leave the pressure down as you change and we're going to go from A to G5, A5 to G5 and you go down, 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 so we're going A, 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 G, G, F sharp. Okay, so that's 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 and then we're under the circle. So I'll just join it in from the A minor. the circle into verse 2 okay so that's pretty simple um, you then do the chorus again so when we go to the bridge uh, at the end of the chorus we've got this and then we're going to go to C and then G B7 E minor now let me show you a rhythm that you can use for that so it's down 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 up B7 And then it's just the same chord, C, G, B7, E minor, and then for the last time C, G, B7, E minor, and then we go D, C, and then a much louder he sort of screams this Amen. 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 So it's the same as what we had before. Amen. No, wrong, wrong one, Andrew. And then into your chorus. And it's pretty obvious to know, learn how to finish the song. It's just... Finish on the E minor. Cheers for watching my lesson. I really, really appreciate it. If you could find it within yourself to give me a like and a comment or a share, that would be absolutely fantastic. That really helps me out. This lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. They're a quirky little independent guitar shop in Brighton, of all places. You couldn't have guessed, could you? Um, if you like this idea of this rhythm arrow system that I'm doing to help you with your rhythm, then um, I've included a link down here to my website, which takes you to all the videos that I've done that have an on-screen rhythm arrow system, which is proving to be really, really popular, so that's why I keep doing it. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on playing, and see you soon.